Crystal Becker and her son Christopher are now home after running into complications from using a medical exemption for COVID testing when traveling to the United States for Christopher's specialized medical treatments. I submitted all my documentation that I needed. I needed a doctor's note from a local doctor saying that our services were essential. And then in turn, you need um, a report from the, the place where you received the care stating that services were received. Um, I had all of that documentation. And in turn, you are supposed to be exempt along with the, the person receiving the medical care. Um, we followed up with Canadian Border Services, we followed up with Health Canada, all saying the same message and uh, confirming that the accompanying person uh, did not require to have a negative COVID test. The mother and son made it to their appointment just fine, but it was upon their attempt to return home, they ran into problems. We got to our flight and I was denied, we were denied. Initially it was, uh, they weren't familiar with exemptions um, for medical travel. And then in turn, after they consulted with all of the people that they needed to, um, they still were denying me. They said that everything applied to Christopher, but not to the accompanying person. And then we were given a customer service card and left on hold with um, the, the airline. And, um, and that wait time was two to four hours. Um, abandoned at the gate with my little guy, no wheelchair assistance for him. I asked four different people in the airport for assistance. No one provided us with any assistance um, for my disabled son. Crystal ended up renting a car with her own funds and driving the long journey home. Her story hit the headlines this morning and it was just before our cameras arrived, Air Canada did make contact with intentions to make good on a bad situation. Today we were contacted by Air Canada stating that they will uh, ref well not refund but compensate Shriners who uh, funds the, the, the air tickets, the airfares for us to travel. Um, they said that they will give them a credit for us to travel again um, uh, with their company and um, they will also credit back the uh, out-of-pocket expenses that were incurred from car rentals, gas, uh, tolls, meals, and um, they also wanted to send Christopher something uh, in the mail. And um, I also really asked to follow up with all of the governing bodies because I really want this to be clear for other people so that they don't have to go through that because it's absolutely uh, unnecessary. And um, it was really heartbreaking and um, I just really felt abandoned. For Halton News, I'm Jason Agnew.